Millions of people worldwide are suffering from neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, brain tumors, or epilepsy. But medical technology is progressing fast and people are constantly working on new methods to study activity in the brain. We call this functional neuroimaging and it's incredibly important for our understanding of the brain, for diagnosing diseases, but also for future therapies. So how do we study activity in the brain? <clears throat> when I move my hand like this, a small part of my brain gets activated and locally neurons consume more energy. Blood is like a fuel to the brain and it delivers energy in the form of oxygen and glucose. So if we can detect local changes in blood volume inside the brain, we know which parts of the brain are active in a task such as moving my hand, but also in a more complex task such as decision making or our emotions. This is not a new concept at all. People have been studying the blood response using fMRI for the past 20 years. But an MRI scan is so large, it occupies an entire room, and it's incredibly expensive to use. So ideally, we'd want to study activity in the brain using a much more small and mobile device. And that is exactly the goal of my research. I want to develop a non-invasive functional neuroimaging device, just like an MRI scan, but at the size of a helmet. And we think we can do that using radar technology. Radar, or specifically impulse radar, can be used to measure the distance of an object by sending out an electromagnetic pulse and measuring how long it takes for a reflection to come back. Exactly the same principle can be applied in functional neuroimaging. Electromagnetic pulses at certain frequencies can propagate through the skin and the skull into the brain. A volume of blood then causes reflections of these pulses in all directions. By constructing a helmet with an array of antennas, we can record these reflections and we can detect local changes in blood volume. Because of a new design of an ultra-small radar on a chip, we will be able to measure brain activity in a helmet-sized imaging device that is smaller and less expensive than alternative imaging methods. We're still at quite an early phase in the research project. Um, currently, I'm working on the evaluation of different antenna methods different antennas to get efficient transmission of radar signals through the skull. I'm also developing new imaging algorithms to detect these small radar signals. So there are still many challenges ahead, but I think that because of developing new technologies such as this one, we will get closer to finally understanding our brains. Thank you.